All right, I'm back. And I figured out why my volume was so low, because I turned the gain down on my microphone. Who knew? Because when I do video recordings, I go to a, basically just a closet, and sit in there really close to the microphone. So I have to avoid clipping. But anyway. I'm going to be streaming today, and not Saturday, because uh, Saturday, I have other plans. And I guess maybe I'll do a Sunday stream. I haven't done Sundays in a while, and I don't tend to really do much on Sundays otherwise. Then again, it's nice to have a day where I just kind of do nothing. But honestly, I haven't done much work on the game. Like, I said I was going to, you know, write off stream. Haven't done that too much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very difficult to sort of do ideation, I guess. But I think it's just a thing where I have to put the words on the page. As I keep saying. Alright, is this going to, like, is Godot going to, like, wake up? There we go. Okay, so what I want to do today is I'm going to do the... What is this? Let's do the journal entries and dialogue. So I want basically the final mechanic of the game, sort of, probably. So I guess let's... Let's start with, like, the dialogue viewers. Let's make a little test scene. Or let's go to... Where's my dialogue test context replies? Let's also have... Let's have, like, note or something. <clears throat> Little guy slash dates. Let's say, let's have two things. So I'm going to make two notes, cubes. Okay, so these will have like a shape guy. Test task or something. Great task, test task. And then we'll do... I forget if I can do this. Let's see if this works. Complete task. Okay, so I can add a note optionally. Let's see, warning task already completed. Hmm. Let's do that. 
So it'll only add the note for completed tasks if it's not already a completed task. Okay, but that's not what I really need here. So we have our item shape, item cube. Let's do uh, note uh, test task. So basically what I'm going to add is the player is going to be able to pick one of these notes from the journal. And so, like, for example, there might be... Uh, let's do, like, this one. This is appropriate music. She's really gonna interrogate him on why he likes shape- why he says he likes other shapes as well, but he says he loves cubes. See, this is- see, I'm bringing that intensity of interrogation here. Also, did I ever mention that I actually have played a, only, a, like, a couple missions of Ace Attorney so far? I just started recently. It's really making me think I need to get, like, um music integrated into the dialogue because that would add a whole level of like because that's where most of the intensity in the ace attorney series comes from is the music because you know otherwise it'd just be like actual like barely more exciting than like an actual court case which is only exciting if you're like the defendant <clears throat> but anyway and that's honestly not the kind of excitement that most people want in their lives but all right And so what I want to do, so what I want to make sure with this is basically this has the same tags here, the shape guy and test task, but it also has this one because these tags, this is the stat that's internally kept track of so that I can do something like a global stats guy slash cubes, but it's also added as a stat or it's also added as one of the tags at the end here. So that way I can like. What I want to be able to do is bring up the menu, select this journal entry, and then it'll select this one. And then for this one, it'll use this t label here. And let's also do like not global ask lists task. And like, uh, all right, I already have, that should be, let's go to my test area. So let's rename my shape guy. Maybe he's just here. All right, let's call this Mishar. So we need his friendly ID. So this way, it'll actually remember him. But okay. Let's do not...
<laughs> uh, what am I doing here? Oh, not global stats. Little guy slash shapes. I could actually have... Hang on. I have an idea here. Note once. Because I use this a lot, so let's do note. Oh, I already did that. Okay. I was already ahead of myself there. And this is uh, ill form yet again, but I need to use the bathroom. Ten minutes into the stream. Should have planned beforehand. Oh well. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So now what I need... So I have... The hypothetical syntax. Now... First off, let's get our... Um, special... Dialogue viewer thing. So what do I do here? So it's like, use item. Well, use notes. I 
I guess this will be an array. So it'll be the tags from, or it'll be like the tags. So I want to Let's do like a uh, special label. There we go. So now this should all work for, um, well, let's make sure that we have our conditionals here. So we need, um, well, where do I, where do I create these, um, label conditions? Oh wait, no, that's fine. Because label conditions are specified for every label, so there's no other special logic that I need to do. So we'll just do, uh... Why do I set process input and set process true here? I guess I can just do, like, special label like this, so it'll be like... If special label note... Now let's do like four T in tags. If special label note tag return else. All right, no, and then uh, insert label. And I guess I might do, like, um, I don't know why on earth I would use a note underscore, but I'll just do that anyway. <clears throat> oh, wait, I should not have this here, actually. I'll just do, I'll just duplicate it, because I don't want that running, these running every time, because that's not logically accurate. Okay, so hopefully, well, no, I know the order of these is preserved. So now the order in which tags are written to this will actually matter. Oh, wait, actually. Hmm. I want it to be the order in which the labels appear, not the order in which the tags appear. So let's do, like... Tags array or like items. So it's going to be I'm going to simplify this a bit.
else if description so it'll be How do I want to do this? Desk. Let's just do like bar tags equals description dot tags if tags else. There we go. Oh, if description. So what I'm going to do is we need to go through each label. So like, let's do like, um, oh crap. These label conditions need to be an array because I need to have the labels in order. Also, eventually I need to make it so that things... I was thinking about this because I'm going to make the journal... Uh, whatever, I'll explain it later. Basically, I'm going to have to figure out how to reduce RAM usage soon. Let's also do... Little conditions. So I need to, like, label conditions dot push back label comma e. Okay. Let's just do like for label E in label conditions. So this is a label and expression var label L E zero. If Begins with type. Oh, this actually makes it so that this is more flexible as well, because I can do a um, const r. Or let's do like var r special extract. Um, now, how's this going to work? Ah, oh, well, I'll just... So this is going to be the expression in here, so it'll be like, um, not a close parenthesis, one or more. And how do I make sure, I guess I can do slash star how do I make a word 
Well, I guess I could just do... Hang on. Oh, and I just realized all these have to be double slashed. That's... I love rejects. Okay, so we need A through Z, A through Z. Slash. And then underscore. Ah, whatever. I'm just going to do strings. Who cares? Okay, so it's going to capture in here. Okay, and then if, well, I guess I don't need this. So let's do like if label dot match. Oh, wait, no, I don't want that. Let's do, let's do a little bit, like... This, and then, um... If not, well, how do I? Modulo, uh, Where is subtopic? Oh, I can't do anything unless it's at all semantically or syntactically perfect. Okay. Just uh, get this stuff out of here. Oh, wait, I also need to do the EX expression.
This is so deeply nested. I'm actually legitimately having trouble following this. I don't want... Stop warning me about crap. Okay, so we don't need this. We need um, L E one. Actually, this also needs to be up here. So if there's no results in the rejects... Wait, no, crap, what am I doing? Actually, I have a good idea. Let's remove remove one more layer of nesting here. Okay. So if the label does not begin with the type, we just continue. Otherwise, we search for the um, our item. Oh, wait, I can actually just put... Hang on, I just realized. I don't need to, like, extract stuff. I can just do, um... What if I did label match? Simple case sensitive expression match where star matches zero or more arbitrary characters and question mark matches any single character. Okay, so that's not a reject, so.
Okay, so there's some screwed up syntax here. So it's like really, it's really approximate. Because you could technically have something like, like it doesn't check if there's anything syntactically valid. So you could have like this, and this would match in here, and this would be valid. But I don't care that much. I don't want to do more work to make it less, uh, well, to make it just equally as useful. But okay, so for each label, if the label starts with our type, we'll continue. Or if it doesn't start with the type, we'll go back up to here. Otherwise, if we have found it, or if this regular expression for each item matches the label that we're at, found is true and we break. So this means that I compile the regular expression for each item and each label, which is pretty bad. I mean, I guess I could just literally just do like, like if label dot contains item. Or like, Label.find I. So this means that technically you don't even need this. You could just do like this. But I'll assume eventually I'll do it correctly. Because someday I may actually like compile this down into a into like a more machine friendly format, and then I would use an actual like parser for this stuff. But okay, so let's do like var found. If, um, all right, how does subtopic work? So we're going to do like, something like this, maybe. I did not... wait, what? Hang on. Eh, let's not let's not fiddle with that because that this apparently works even though it, it seems like it shouldn't. But okay. If not, index in dial labels.
Okay, now I can actually, um... So, if sequence has found label, subtopic found label return true, else return false. Let's see. Does it really ask for interaction every 30 minutes now? They're getting like more and more like fidgety about that, I guess, on YouTube. Oh yeah, I just remembered that I'm not you doing the rejects anymore, so I don't need any of this. Okay. Which is, uh, still kind of bad. Okay, so if not found, continue. If ex dot uh, I just realized this doesn't work. Okay, hang on. I've been wasting because I have to I have to get the labels in order to do what I want, which is I want this I want them to evaluate from the top to bottom. And I was thinking, oh, the label conditions should be an array, but that's not the thing that I'm using. Okay, so let's Because this condition is only used if it's con like this label is not in the label conditions list because it doesn't have a condition. Like this is specifically to get this condition and evaluate it. So let's do. Let's see if I can just mash undo to get us back to where we were. Because I did like that refactor with getting the special sequence. So let's just get us back to some place that kind of works. Okay.
All right, let's also get add add-ons. Uh, starting to create dialogue or uh, usable journal. Freeze. Let's do. Oh wait. Uh, let's. You know what? Who cares? There we go. So that gets us to a place where we have this. The notes don't do anything yet. I guess I can at least make sure that the items work still. Hmm. I mean, I guess what I could do... I don't want to change how I do the labels in here, because that's useful. So let's maybe, like, get, like... Sorted labels or something. What is this? Load? Oh, yeah. That'd be handy. Let's see, I'm gonna switch to... What should I switch to? I'm just gonna pause it for now. Because I'm getting, I'm getting my brain. Sort of like using my whole brain for this thing. Okay. Where am I now? Why can't I why can't I press the arrow buttons to get? One problem is this editor is just laggy enough that it gets kind of annoying to use, but not laggy enough that I wanna get like switched to this one every single time I want to do anything. But okay, let's let's try programming through here. So we need to go to UI Dialog Viewer. What is this? Huh. Okay. So this doesn't do what I want, because this goes through each tag one by one. And I want it to go through the labels, so what could I do here? Let's create, when we start up, a sorted diction. So like, for sorted labels. Array. And then start. For L in sequence dot labels. Hmm. And then I think what is label swaps? Oh, that's already going to be deleted. Okay, that's fine. So this swaps out the labels with our new thing. And then what I want to do is for or like sorted labels equals sequence dot labels 
dot keys dot custom sort sort labels and that'll be like Return sequence labels A less than B. Because this points to the line that the label is at. So do I want this still? I guess that's fine. Let's make sure this works. Wait, why do I... Oh, right. I don't need the ID for the notes. There is no, like, because notes don't even have an ID. Okay. So now what I can do is I can do, like, the special label in tags, and I can do it basically the same thing here. So let's do, like, uh, not, if not, notes, I guess I could even just do like this. And then for this one, is there anything that I do here? And I guess this one I'll do this, where I search with the ID first, and then I do the tag. So it'll still be like, uh, turn Before L in sorted labels, if I don't need this. C 
So if L in sorted conditions, L, L, L. I don't need this. Right, I can just do bar found here. So if L equals find this, or let's do like just if I cannot type for the life of me. If L, let's look at the keyboard like an 85 year old man to make sure that I'm typing the right button. Uh, found equals true. Break. I also don't like how in the Godot text editor, sometimes it makes you ret press return twice because it's doing some sort of weird autocorrect thing or like autofill thing. Okay, let's go back to here. So for item and items, if L is not equal to blah, 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 found equals true, break. If, if not found, continue. So this means this. So if not result, continue. Okay, let's do if, if result, found label equals label. Break. Or I guess. Okay. So we have our fall through. So if nothing here works, it'll check for this fall through. Otherwise, so for each label in the sorted labels, if it does not begin with the type, we return. Otherwise, first, there's no found label. So if items, so if we have this item in our thing, found is true. So this way it'll evaluate in the order that we give the tags. Or it'll evaluate first in the order that we give the labels, and then the order here doesn't really matter. Then if not found, continue. And then if there's an expression, then it does this stuff. Okay, this seems like it's correct. Let's find this. It's not here. It's like broken now. Oh, okay. Found label equals L. Because it only needs to match for the first one. Okay, now let's get 
our cube and sphere. So I'm going to test with the items, because those should still work. And then I can test by swapping around the order of these. So if I swap this to here, the cube should never show up. Which admittedly begs the question of why I would want to do that. Oh well. Okay. Is it sort custom? What the hell is it? Oh, it's the object and then the method. Hmm. That doesn't seem great. Trying to assign nil to a variable of type array. Oh, okay. I see. I thought it was, like, frozen. What's my other one? Sphere. Open inventory. Let's do a cube. Okay, so that's good. Huh? Where's this dialogue? My responses aren't here. <clears throat> Test task. My dialogue isn't showing. My responses aren't showing up. These are supposed to be here. How did I break this? Let's see someone else, like maybe here. Let's skip to the next response. That didn't work. Where are we? Uh, what's my current item?
type. Uh, I guess let's do like F11. Okay, so we're returning null here, and then if C, return C, or return next at or up. So what is our current item next? Next is 173. Uh, I have no idea what's happening here. Somehow I think there's like a circular thing. No, okay. What the hell is happening? So is it just... What does it mean, though? I don't get it. Like, what's the current item? It's 2697. Or 26967. So I think there, it just seems like there's a circle in here. I'm just, I don't care. I'm going to remove this freaking button sooner or later. A while loop is bad. A while loop is a risk in here, and I don't want to deal with it. Well, someday I'll do it. Okay, let's let's keep, let's remember what's important here. I can't believe it. I haven't even like added it yet. Okay. So the replies are just broken. I don't understand it. Let's talk to a guy again. Let's talk to somebody else. Let's see if the replies are broken for them. So can I eventually like just press the buttons? Okay, so replies are broken. How did I break the replies? What the fuck did I do since the last time that I've touched them? Let's go to, I don't know, dialog viewer. Result equals true break. But I genuinely don't understand what I've done that could be different. Like I didn't I didn't have even add the okay. What did I change here? Let's just amend this.
Let's just talk to someone here with the regular replies. Let's see if this is broken. Okay. So that's interesting. So let's do like... Goddamn unstable fucking file formats. It's like every single time I touch it, every single time I look at them, they change. Okay. What is happening? What did I do? Is there something like corrupted? What did I do? I guess maybe I corrupted the importer. I, oh yeah, I guess that would make sense, because the files would be ignored. So let's go to proof. So let's test now. First off. So blah, blah, blah. Okay. Shop. Village shop. Dialog. Import. Re import. This is the wrong person. Uh. What is happening? Is it just this specific dialogue? Did I just do something wrong with this dialogue? What is... Okay, so blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, no. So this is where I am, I think. What does it mean? Am I emitting the signals in the wrong place? What is happening? Okay, so I'm gonna... Okay, let's... Uh... How, how fucking far back can I go then? 
All right, let's go. Let's fucking check out like uh, that from March. And let's be really extreme. Let's just clean out all of the ex or ignored files. Which, uh, uh oh. Hopefully that wasn't important. All right, let's resume the... I don't care. I'm not going to resume the music. All right, so I guess in other news, I've been contemplating setting up a Lemmy instance because I think that'd be fun, and also I kind of don't like having all my stuff on Discord because I don't want, like, just some company to manage all of it because if I want it, if it's important to me, I should just fork up the dough and manage it myself. And I think you can theoretically run it on a Raspberry Pi, which I have just right here. So I'm going to buy another Ethernet cable and see if I can set that up. Because also it's split into like three separate servers. So I'm pretty sure if the performance was an issue, I could just buy two more Raspberry Pis, wire them up by Ethernet, have one for the database, one for the front end, and one for the API. And that'd be, because it's reasonably easy to set up. It's not super difficult. I think the main thing is just their documentation's a little wrong. But it's been getting so much attention recently that it's gotten a lot, um, or that most of the issues that I had were pointed out by other people. Uh, okay. All right, this is because I need to do plugins. Uh, enable, enable. Uh, okay. And I'm going to have to clear this again when I go back to normal. Oh, well. I mean, I guess the only thing that would be an issue if I did set up a local Lemmy instance is then there's the risk of my power going out or things like that taking the entire site down, which, I mean, are issues with the cloud, but it's more likely to happen with me because I have a much smaller setup. And if I moved, I'd have to, like, probably just migrate the entire server to a cloud service anyway, even maybe just temporarily. But oh well, that wouldn't be bad. Okay, so I want proof of concept. All right, just... <clears throat> it's not going to re-import everything again, is it? I should have I should have reset this when I was changing. Oh well. Okay. So let's see. If it works, it should not exit. Is it going to go? Wow. 
Why is it not working? The F6 button isn't working. What the fuck? This is driving me crazy. Man, the mouse feels awful in this version of the game. No wonder people were talk saying that it felt bad. Because it does feel bad. Okay, whatever. Okay, so Armstrong worked. The replies did not close for Armstrong, but I need to make sure now, because I was talking with the other NPC, so maybe it's an issue with that specific NPC. I hope this just magically fixes whatever issue I'm having, because it very well could. Uh, okay, that does exist. <clears throat> I wonder how easy it would be to cross-compile targeting a Raspberry Pi. Because I wouldn't want to actually compile Rust on the Pi itself. Because Lemmy is written in Rust. And one of the disadvantages of Rust is that it's pretty slow to compile. Uh, close. There's something weird with the way that plugins work in that you have to re-import things like this. Or you have to re-enable your plugins because for some reason they don't work until they're like, I guess until some resource is loaded beforehand. I don't know what it is. Why is this one taking so long? Where is that? So that would be, I guess, main? What does Jackie end? 
That's not a terribly weird one. Obviously, you can see some places where my fancy new syntax does not really uh, look so hot. <clears throat> All right, let's let's do a take two on that re-import. There we go. So let's meticulously test this. I will test it with two whole NPCs to make sure. Uh, when did this happen? I think it's because I changed the format of the save file at some point. I like a larger font for my boomer eyes. Okay, well, uh, I'm curious as to why. Okay, cool. Okay, so it is something in between those two. Let's go to the dialogue importer. Actually, first off, let's go to the player. Or like the camera rig. So let's just let's just see where it's being called from. Blah 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 blah. There we go. Okay, on dialogue exited. Exited. Evaluate. Check condition. Advance. I mean, it's not a cont context reply. Okay, I think I see. It's doing something wrong with the context reply, I guess. So there's white space, and then there's a question mark. And then there's, you know, this, oh wait, that's not in the right place. That question mark should be, I think I fixed this in the main thing. Yeah, it's supposed to be this. Yeah, because it's supposed to be a little question mark. And then you can have this name, potentially. Actually, I don't even need that. And then there is something that I did with the substring. Yeah, I don't need this substring. Okay, so that was the issue. Is this one I need to remove?
All right, what am I looking for here? E. Because now I need to re import all of my dialogue. So let's just do like star dialogue star. Yep, sounds good. Hmm. And that's another sort of annoyance with Godot is that if I change my importer code, it doesn't re-import everything. So it doesn't, so I guess those bugs are easy to miss because, okay, let's make sure that this works. Uh, I don't care what this guy has to say. I care what this guy has to say. So let's, let's do... Literally what I was going to do. What, like an hour ago now? Half an hour ago? More? Less? An inventory, let's do cube. Okay. Now let's swap his... Uh, oh wait, let's do... Uh, open inventory sphere. Incorrect. That was not correct. Uh, I'm seeing here, if I escape and then I come back, it doesn't re-enable the input. Oh, I see, because it hides the... Hmm... Okay, let's just let's just put that in bugs. Gameplay impacting, so like pausing while selecting love context menu. Let's put that at the top actually. Did I fix this? I fixed this somehow. And I think I fixed these, didn't I? I can't tell. Okay, pausing while closing or using the dialog context menu and unpausing. Unpausing without giving control back to the main. Visible or okay. So here, where is that mentioned thing? It should mention shapes. So he has mentioned shapes. So if I open inventory and then do sphere, nope, not correct. Let's see how my uh, special, special label. Hmm. 
let's just go through. So let's uh, try it again. So what is sorted labels? We have item cube, item shape. And what are our items? Sphere. Uh, let's do like F12. What? No. Oh, crap. Okay. I'm seeing what it is. I need to do, um, Okay, this just doesn't work right. Because I forgot. I can't do it like this. I should do like, um... This part should just be not here. Let's do if so if not special label, or let's do if special label return if. Notes underscore in or like let's do like if once dot has Uh, maybe I'll just do, actually. Percent S underscore type if. There we go. If Is this the right? How do I do this? Okay, that is correct. Okay, so here we need a true fall through. Here we will have no fall through. And then yes, fall through. Because I was doing the fall through, because the items and the journal notes are honestly not that similar in execution. But okay. Item cube. Why did that happen? There's like a button that I can press that just disables, it like, just like unfocuses the dialogue, or the terminal somehow. Item here. Alright. Cubes, do you like any other shapes? I do. Cool. How about a sphere? And I'll just continue until it works. 
Okay. Cool. That was all I needed. That took like an hour and a half or more, like an hour and 45 minutes to not even implement the feature. Why are these all active? I'll assume that's doing what it's supposed to. Let's get um the dialogue thing. Rename to go journal. Let's do like use an item. And actually I should do I'm I'll put these in parentheses. Uh maybe not. But okay. So now we have a button button we'll go to our item list or whatever it's called maybe item context on show journal pressed hmm Let's go to my journal. So we need basically a duplicate of this, except it's going to generate a um, let's do like export pool var um, buttons false signal Note chosen. Oh, right now, signal note chosen tags. Does this have? Hang on. Where's my multi line button? Dialog view thing.
do like if font override. Okay. Now let's go back to the dialog viewer. For if font in fonts. Yeah. So where's my contextual replies? My category, um, maybe it's the, what is it? Item context? Okay. Actually, let's make sure. Okay, good. Because now I need to bring that into the journal. So how do we do this? So we have the keys, which bring up the stuff. Then we have the on subject focused clear show notes. Um, hmm. Populate list. And then on subject focused. Let's do like, so here I'm going to do if buttons. Self on subject rest. So this will be function Well, how am I going to do this? I guess I don't need any of this. Because basically, it'll already show up this stuff. So let's see what do I need here. So for note in n, if note, well, oh, I need um. So what's n here? Array get notes by tag. I need the actual like full annotated notes with the tag as well. include abolished equals false. Let's do like don't get full notes by well do I use do I actually where do I even use get notes by tag? Okay, so this is the like only place that I use it where I actually care about the actual notes. Well, I guess here as well. So let's just do like hmm. Well, 
four, note in N, pair in N, G notes dot end, note pair zero. Okay, so let's get my journal. Get notes by tag. For note in N. Pair. If buttons. Else. So let's do um, bar b equals util dot multi line button uh, note pair zero. Let's see how this looks. Reload. So I just need to get text plus tags. An array of text to tags pairs. So B multi line button, note pair zero. Um, what else do I need? Uh, bar x equals B dot. Connect button, no, pressed. So, commit signal. Uh, Note chosen, note pair one, connect one shot. Okay. So this creates all of our buttons. And then we'll have like on subject rest. And this is if buttons. Um, subject notes dot get child zero dot grab this, I think. Yeah, because we cleared right there. And then also we need um a, like focus mode or something because this is the only place where hmm
Let's see, UI cancel. Hmm. Item list up visible. All right, that's that's all fine and dandy, I guess. Let's just bring this up. Let's make sure that all my stuff works. Yeah, so this doesn't do anything fancy yet. Because now what I need to do is I need to have this basically mini journal. So we have our item list here. Um, huh. I guess I need... Like center. Let's do that as buttons, and then our use a journal button will like hide and dot dot slash mini journal dot show and also I'm gonna remove this here so let's do um how do I want to do this I'll figure this out soon, because that's not too important. What I want to do is just make sure that this works. So let's then get our mini journal note chosen. Uh, item context on mini journal note chosen. Show hide, and we'll do uh, Use note tags. Oh, so where's my notification visibility changed? Let's hide this right there. Wait, actually, that needs to be, okay, use note tags array, hide our mini journal, hide ourselves, Hmm. So do I have these? I guess this is fine for now. Let's do like, now let's do like one ready bar. Because I'm using this in like four places already.
Oh wait, I need to do playlist uh not So I need to show the mini journal first. Okay. Now, I have my stuff. And then we can go to item context. And I can go to the uh, dialogue itself, or the viewer. And then I can do use notes. Yeah, there we go. This might work. So that's a new one. Why is that happening? The argument text is never used in the function multi-line button. That's a that's a fancy one. L dot text equals text. Okay, so let's make sure the journal works. He really likes cubes, not just cubes. He apparently likes other shapes. Cool. His journal. Hmm. Did I forget to do the buttons? I did. You know, honestly, this is not taking as long as I estimated, which is shocking because it feels like I've been here for like 10 years trying to solve these like weird bugs. Like most of the time now has been spent on something that wasn't the actual like feature. But okay. Use the journal. So we have our little mini thing. Oh, I need to do, let's go back to my resize. So how does that work then? Player size. What am I doing? I guess it's here. Fall differ resize buttons for B and reply buttons. So let's do like util dot call deferred resize buttons reply buttons. Because I need this in a bunch of places now. Oh, um,
Okay, so I need this in the journal as well, because we're going to do the uh, function resize note buttons, resize buttons, uh, get children. If buttons. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the dialog viewer, which also calls the third. And I'm going to use the exact same formula for here. So let's do utility resize buttons. Okay. <clears throat> Wrong letter. Let's see. So we have the shapes. I'm going to use the journal. And let's use the journal again. Uh, hmm, interesting. I don't quite like that. So basically, what's happening right now is when I, I'm pressing down right here, and I'm going to the right. So yeah, I need these to make sure. I need to make sure that my down and up are correct. Okay, but this is good. So we have this working. Uh, boy, that's taken a while. Okay. Uh, re imported. I guess I'll do this and then Okay, so this is this note dialog now works essentially. Now all I need to do is make it so that when I add things let's set the focus so it'll be like um uh, when do I do the buttons? our previous button. So let's do pick buttons. If previous buttons or if previous button. 
focus neighbor bottom focus button. Focus neighbor top equals previous button. Okay. One more time. And then I'll have to, eventually I'm gonna need to do the re, the UI restyling that I was talking about. Okay, so we have this, use the journal. Oh, I think one thing is, oh, okay. It is on top of the dialogue UI, it's just weird. Wait, why is this, oh wait. I see. So an NPC should be added to the dialogue as they're entered. So let's go to dialogue viewer. Remember. Start. So I think the very first thing, before we advance stuff, if friendly ID in main speaker and main speaker friendly ID, don't get that. So now, because the NPC's name wasn't showing up. Okay, and this didn't help. For some, why did this not affect this? So I want to press down and go to the next task, but I'm not doing that. So how do I make that work to go focus neighbor so maybe i also need like Focus. So I'm going to also do focus next equals button. Previous equals previous button. So do these have to be paths? What, are, what do these have to be? Node paths, okay. So maybe this will help. And I guess maybe what I could do, well, if it, if it changes the neighbors every single time I add the new nodes, I don't know what I can do about that. Let's go to this guy again. So this time, his name comes up. God damn it. So what does tab do? So tab does the right thing. But down does not. So Godot focus arrow buttons. So what if I made the mini journal? Like what if I put in notes here and in the notes here? What if I did none? Well, hmm. I know. I know what I can do.
for C in focus all. Let's try this. So I'm going to have it so that you can't focus on them. Oh. Until the the who's it? What's it? I don't I don't even know what it. Until you press the button. Use journal. Boom. And then you have to press the button. And then you come here. Then look at that. I mean, it's kind of confusing because you can still go left, though. So I know what to do. Uh, let's do four in. What are the subject note buttons that I'm looking for? Let's get children. So I need to also enable the canceling, I think. I pressed the wrong button again. Okay, so this is going to disable focus to those UI buttons or those other like category buttons. So if I, oh, wrong button. So I can go to the journal. You know, we can't go left and right. Well, oh, I went to the, I went to the, uh oh, I went to the dialogue there. That's nasty. Hmm. I need like focus barriers or something. This is going to be a serious issue, actually. Because I would love it to be like, you know, outside of a certain, like, children of a node can only select between children of that node. You know what I mean? Let's see. And here I can't go left, but I can go... Oh, I can't go right either. That's good. Okay. And then I, if I press B, I go all the way back, so I'd like to also have that selected, so it'd be like, you know, you press the button, then you're going here. And also, it's probably almost indecipherable, because I haven't done the style change, and right now there's like literally like one pixel of outline around the button that's focused. But okay. A okay. So we need. I mean, I guess I could just add that. Like, because what I would want is like some sort of focus thing here. So this tells which node should select give focus if the user presses the top arrow on the keyboard. Gamepad. So it's like, it doesn't, this doesn't, these don't work. Like, these don't work. Oh, well. I should probably print those anyway. Hmm. So let's do, like, Godot disable between controls. I mean, I guess what I could do is if there are replies visible, I can disable them. Let's do that. So it'll be use item here.
Yeah, emit signal, pick item, set process input false, set process false. Let's do like disable lies. And then like use item and use note should have like What do these mean? I don't know. So let's do like... Because we need these here. And we need this here. Okay. And actually, now that I think, well, I guess this is fine. Oh, wait. And I also need to cancel. So where's cancel? So on item context canceled. Enable replies. Okay. So now I can start adding notes. And let's see if this UI works okay. So we got that. Uh, that did not quite... Well. I appreciate dynamic typing. I think it's a good system. I think it's very useful to only have errors that, are show, that show up uh, significantly later in development. Uh, disabled equals false. Wait, why am I enabling the replies? Oh, I guess that's fine. Okay. And look, I can't go to there, so let's do use journal. Okay, so I'm isolated to this. So let's do like a uh, shape guy. Okay, that works pretty well. Uh, focus working. Pretty well. All right, I'm actually, I'm surprised I got this done today. I thought this was going to be a pretty big feature because, you know, I have to make, I had to make the journal again. And there are some things that I would like to change at some point, like the fact that the journal basically, it only frees its data when it is visible again. So like it clears itself and then creates itself again. When I would like it to be when it's invisible, it clears itself. 
So that way it's using, you know, minimal resources and RAM and stuff. So it's not wasting all that uh, space. Because now, like, this page exists just fully. I mean, it's not that much now, but in the future, you know, if there's going to be like dozens of characters and dozens of tasks and things like that, that becomes like a full featured thing. Yeah, now there's a journal. Oh. Oh, okay, that's funny. So there's nothing in the journal about Armstrong yet. So yeah, now I have a bunch of tools and I need to play with them more. And that's basically what I'm going to be doing tomorrow because I'm going to a... Uh, basically like one of those game dev meetup things. And I'm going to hopefully work on the game there. Because that's what I'm going to... I guess, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to focus primarily on content, because that was really, like, the only... That's, like, the only, like, major feature that I hadn't added yet. So, yeah, with that added, now I can start working on... Well, now I have all the tools I should need. And if I don't need... And if I need anything else, I'll just have to, you know, make do without it, I guess. But, okay. I'm going to say... Uh, wait, I don't need to save and quit here. That'd just mess up my save, which is already messed up. But okay, I'm excited about this. So hopefully, either Sunday or Monday, I'll be back with, like, a side quest so I can actually start making more content. Because that's really, I guess, the main thing that I'm going to need for the, uh, for the next demo. Because that's going to be, my deadline for that is still August 7th. I'm pretty confident that I can get something done. So I'm hoping it'll be more content, a nicer UI, and some bug fixes and stability and performance to make sure that it runs... Well, to make sure that I didn't make it crash when I switched to multi-threaded loading. But I guess that'll be it for now. See you later.